welcome back to the Wrestling Newsroom. I'm your host, Orthin Justin, and today we're going to be looking at all the wrestling news from Monday. We start with a very interesting story. At a recent 2K18 event, Kurt Angle was asked about having another match in WWE. Here was his response. Well, you can talk to Vince McMahon about that, but I think it will happen. I'm guessing at the end of this year, early next year, it ultimately is up to Vince McMahon. He's going to make the decision. He also commented on potential opponents. You know you want to challenge yourself and get in the ring with Triple H, but let's not even John Cena. There's a lot of great young talent right now. Rusev, Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, Mojo, and Braun Strowman. Love that big guy, so there's a lot of great talent that I'd love to get my hands on. I looked into this. AJ Styles and Samoa Joe have been wrestling longer than John Cena. They're not young talent i know that they're, they're 40 and 38 they're not really in the same category as seth rollins and rusev and braun Strowman. stop trying to put these guys that have not been into yet in wwe as oh we're new talent no they've been wrestling for 15 20 years just say it as it is but anyway i'd love to see it in England return let's not get on my rant about wrestlers uh and then Enzo Mori posted a picture of Instagram of his $10,000 ticket to Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor. Um, obviously, this is a day before some of these stories because I've missed Sundays, which that's just kind of flashing the cash in there. Come on, dude. And Randy Orton, who previously retreated the WWE Creative Humor account, responded to a tweet from the account with the following. They said, how is Floyd Mayweather versus... Conor McGregor not in a Punjabi prison. Money left on the table, guys. Hashtag kayfabe. And he went, no one will be able to see the fight because of you will be extorted by two walls of bamboo. Duh. <laughs> I just love Randy Orton just getting off on one on Twitter sometimes. It's just quite entertaining. Then we go to a massive story. I have to cover this. Um, Rosemary... Rosemary of uh, GFW suffered an injury at Triple A's Triple Mania event on Saturday night. Sexy star of Lucha Underground uh, popped Rosemary's arm out of place while doing an arm bar submission. And by what is going on, it looks like she's done it on purpose. Uh, we move straight on to a Rosemary statement. Uh, <coughs> She had, let me make this perfectly clear. I will take liberties to someone's body and they give it to you and you trust in them and keep them safe. You are not tough. If you take liberties with someone's body, they're giving it to you and trusting you to keep them safe. You are not tough. You're an asshole and you don't belong in this business. Sex Assault decided to do that just this weekend at Triple Mania. While I was... I have remained quiet on social media until now. I more calm to address the situation. I have now been informed that she is telling people that this is a work... You are all being informed that Sexy Star is a liar. She is lying in the locker room. She has been forced to apologise. Instead of cooking up some bullshit excuse, she said she didn't know. She's a liar now. You know if you're talking someone's arm, you know an arm bar is real and dangerous hold. The only reason your face is not broken right now is because the little voice inside my head said, learn the everyone keep repeating, don't go to Mexican prison. Thanks, demon. <laughs> However... Turning to positive, the outreach from the wrestling community has been incredible. I'm overwhelmed with how much love and overwhelmed with how much love I feel right now from fans, fam, and people who are yet to meet this amazing business. We are family and we protect our own. If you violate that, you are not welcome here. I also want to thank the AAA locker room. Multiple people came up to me and said how horrid, horror, how sorry and disgusted they are. Thank you, Hamada and Shanai who helped me deal with the bullshit from Star during that match. Thank you, Vampiro, for professionally trying to calm a violent situation. Though, as you know, once the excuses started pouring out Sexy Star's mouth, in lieu of an apology, it was over. Thank you for the amazing Jeff to be locker room, both present at the night and not. I have so much support from everyone and talent crew and office have all reached out to show me that. that That is not where we leave this story, though. We have one more little thing... Um, where is it? Um, WrestleCade, a convenient, a convention scheduled for November fourth, November twenty fourth to November twenty sixth, announced that Sex Star would no longer be appearing due to the Triple Mania incident with Rosemary. They went. The WrestleCade team have read online reports and watched the video and saw both deleted and still posted tweets regarding the incident between Sex Star and Rosemary at this weekend's Triple A main. Triple Mania event. We've now heard from Rosemary who said that it's obvious that Sex Star tried to intentionally injure her after the match had ended. There is no place for this in the professional wrestling therefore we have made the decision not 
um, not um, to bring Sexy Star to the Russell K weekend. We're sorry for the fans who were looking forward to meeting her, but we encourage you to read the report and hope you'll agree with that decision. For anyone who ordered meet and greet tickets in advance, we'll be receiving refunds as soon as possible. Good. As from the facts that we have seen here, it's a horrific, horrific event. When a wrestler goes off key and tries to intentionally injure another wrestler, it's absolutely horrible. We've had it in Japan wrestling where like champions have gone out and destroyed their opponent. Um, New Jack's uh, famous for going out there and battering people for real. Like uh, Gypsy Joe, a 78 year old wrestler, hit him a couple of times too hard. So he started smacking the old guy around. Some new, you young guys just started beating the shit out of him. It's just, just there's so many incidents and it's disgusting. And I hope personally she gets fired and gets kicked out of the re professional wrestling for that. <coughs> there's no need for it. We do not need them kind of wrestlers in this business. Um, and we move on to a nice... Uh, well, I say nicer story. Dana Brooke posted the following message on Instagram in memory of her boyfriend that recently passed away, bodybuilder, Dallas Big Country, McCarver. My angel today is the day I see you, see you at ultimate peace, rest and happiness. It would be selfish of me to say you needed to stay. We have a lot of time to live. But as I told you before, if you love someone so much, you want the ultimate best for them. And God called your name. It was your time. And I thank you so much for giving me that time. I've had with you, making me the best person I will ever be. Just promise me you will next time, you're next to me every step of the way. I'm living my life for you and only you. Guide me, Dallas, please. But rest in peace, Angel, Angel Wings, my life. Dallas McCarver, together forever. Today is the day, rise above. That was a lovely tribute, Dana. Seriously, I do hope you were the best strength in this story. Please. Please rest in peace, Dallas McCarver. And let's move straight on to the wrestling world reacting to Mc McGregor versus Mayweather. Mauro Ronaldo, I didn't get to do it on the podcast, so mamma mia! Thank you, congratulations, Floyd Mayweather, mad respect to uh, Conor McGregor. To a place, congrats to both um, May Mayweather and McGregor on doing something no man has done before. Everyone, uh, Mick Ferdy, everyone won tonight. Mayweather and McGregor boxing MMA um, as WWE. You did you hear the call that call from Mauro Ronaldo? And uh, Kurt Hawkins said, "Boxing is boring. Watch pro wrestling." <laughs> I just wanted to call that just for that one. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Okay, then we go to Corbin responding to another negative fan. They went. WWE had great ideas, replaced boring. Uh, Baron Corbin would spot with a drifter, much better on the mic shape, and actually gets reactions. And he said, if your ideas were good, we're good. It's where, were, not where, were. Sorry, I have to pick on grammar mistakes. Uh, people would ask for, the, for them instead of you just posting them for no reason. <clears throat> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, and while appearing on Sam Roberts' podcast, Seth Rollins explained how the phrase BURN IT DOWN got added to his theme song. Several weeks back, Rollins was approached, but was approached and told that Vince McMahon didn't like the silent pause during the beginning of his beginning part of his song. Rollins was surprised this because he had the song for three years and McMahon only now not liking it. Rollins was played several different clips to be inserted into the pause, which included the phrase Kingslayer in a seductive tone of Gordon Rollins and random sound effects. Rollins said that Burn It Down ended up being the best option. So that's what they went with. Fair enough, Vince McMahon called. I do like the Burn It Down in his theme, so that's good. Um, and here we have a rumoured full card for No Mercy. We have uh, Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman, which is confirmed. John Cena versus um, Roman Reigns, which has been announced that it's going to be confirmed tonight. And Monday Night Raw. So massive spoiler for Monday Night Raw there. Uh, Miz, Samoa Joe for the Intercontinental title. Sasha Banks, Alexa Bliss for the Raw title. 
uh, Cesaro and Sheamus versus the New Shield for the titles, Bray Wyatt and Balor, and Enzo and Morgan versus Neville for the Cruiserweight title, and Gallows and Anderson versus Hardy Boys. Fair enough, that'll be a good card. I'd enjoy it. And then we move on to a, another possible NXT call-up, The Authors of Pain. They did not appear at this past Thursday's NXT tapings. So the only logical thing is that they're going to get caught up. I would love to see that. I love the AOP. And Dolph Ziggler responded to a fan's criticism on Twitter. Uh, they went, uh, Ziggler has the potential breakout wrestler debut boring. For example, Tyler Breeze, Nakamura, Baron Corbin, etc. And he went, to be fair, I was phoning it in way before that. You exposed me. Hope they don't want the money back because I blew it on jet skis. <laughs> I love the sarcasm. I just cover this just because it makes me laugh. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Uh, then uh, Maria Canellis, or yeah, Maria Canellis, or Maria Bennett, Mike Bennett's wife, issued the following statement on Instagram about her husband's recovery from prescription drug addiction. This was the first week of my husband's recovery from prescription drugs. This was the hardest week of my life. People try and give me advice and you can read all the books, but the truth is there's no right way for a person to get clean. My husband was addicted to prescription drugs and I didn't know. You blame yourself, you blame the business, you blame God, but anyone can become addicted. It's not, no one is safe. A glamorous job doesn't protect you from addiction. It truly makes you wonder about everyone around you. Is that person hurting? What's that person's story? If, in these photos, you see Mike in hospital finding his appetite, trying to work out, having a match for the first time in WWE, and playing with my niece with the marks from the uh, colonial patch in the hospital, giving, still giving him on his arm. Oh, uh, yeah, patch from the hospital on his arm. Addiction doesn't look like the people in the movie sometimes. They are just people that, that took the road that they shouldn't have. Mike is doing great. He channeled all his energy into working out and being healthy. Mike wanted to quit now as we move forward, even though the road is hard. The right road, I love you. My friend, we believe in you. You are a hero to so many. Keep fighting, keep pushing, be the miracle. Yes, the best of luck to you, Mike. We do hope you stay clean, mate. You are actually a very nice guy. Um, and then we go to Shinsuke Nakamura saying that he turned down an offer to compete in the UFC many years ago. Around 2005, UFC offered me a chance to fight for them. But at the moment, I was under contract with New Japan Pro Wrestling and decided to stay in pro wrestling. It was a good opportunity, but I don't regret my choice. You now have to understand that I'm 37 years old now, and it's been a long time since my last proper MMA training. Although I still train in Bra Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it will take me at least one year to get ready for a proper fight. That's not something I want to do, as I'm happy in WWE. Fair enough. Fair enough, Nakamura. I want you in WWE. You're not allowed to leave me. Seriously. Uh, and then, during his recent podcast, Bruce Pitchcock talked about how Vince Russo wanted Test to be a member of D-Generation X in the late 90s. So Vince Russo envisioned that Test being a part of DX early on. Um, Hunter hated it, Sean hated it, everyone hated it, and Rusev made the comment that Test is as big as Kevin Nash, but he's younger and he'll be better. And that, of course, set Sean and Hunter off. He's no Kevin Nash. And on top of that, again, we don't know this from talent relations side. This is when I really was just doing talent relations, getting in new talent. From my vantage point, I wanted test and developmental so he could go out and learn and get better because he was a big guy and had a lot of potential. He wasn't ready for the prime time or any stretch of the imagination. I didn't realise that Rusev already had ideas for him and he had already been approached. He had already approached people about it and I was like, he can't go, man. He's not ready. He's not seasoned. He's just not ready yet. Fair enough. You can't do that. You can't just get um, into it like that. And then, and WWE signed some new talents. American Ninja Warrior Stacy Ka Catanzaro and Shada Bisiro. I'm sorry, a bunch of those names. Uh, both of them are reporting to the WWE Performance Center in Orlando shortly, which is awesome, to be fair. And that was the news. It's very, very interesting, and I can't believe they've got new talents. Again, that's a lot of women they've got bringing in, which I like. But yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give this video a like. 
please subscribe to see more content and I'll catch you later.